Casey Leiden here with MMA Fighting in Tokyo, Japan with Lindsay Van Sant. And she'll be fighting rematch with Rina Kubata um, in just a couple of days in this, at, at the Saitama Super Arena for Ri Risen, Risen, sorry, Risen 20. Um, when did you get here? How, how, was, how, was, it, how, was, how was the travel? Yeah. It's been great. Um, we got here, uh, it was the 25th. We started leaving on the 24th, you know, with all the, the time difference. So we kind of lost the day, it was, which is why we wanted to come out earlier than later to get used to it. But yeah, it, it felt great. Um, I haven't had any, like, you know, like I did throw up when I got off the plane, but that's because we did I'm a sorry, loop. You throw, you threw up? <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> they made a loop and I am not good when they make a loop on the plane. It makes me sick. So I, yeah, I ended up throwing up when I got off and I felt like crap. But after that, I've been feeling great. So, and the food is really good. I'm glad I don't have to cut because... I've been eating everything I want. <laughs> well, I'm glad you're feeling better. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you well, I didn't need to know that, but you know. No, no, <laughs> tell us everything. <laughs> okay. <laughs> not every, don't tell us everything, okay. <laughs> um, what, so, what, actually, before we start about the fight, I, I need—I want to know a little bit more about you. I mean, I see you, you what, the fifth fight this, fifth yeah. fight this year? Like, where, where, do you, where are you from? Where are you training out of? I'm from uh, Poughkeepsie, New York, and I'm training out of uh, Precision Mixed Martial Arts. And I train at a lot of other gyms, too. That's my, my home gym. It's the closest to my house, only like seven minutes away. So, And then I train at Saki and Muay Thai in Kingston. And then I go to the city at Henzo's. And then I visit a couple of schools in Jersey as well. Okay. Why are you here? Why are you in Japan? This is I, I got to admit, this was kind of a shocker when they, I guess, when, when I saw this rematch was happening. Can you tell us how this happened? Yeah, everybody's asked me why I'm taking the rematch because I beat her. So, you know, you know, I beat her in the first round with a choke. So, you know, it's not really rematch material. But I would take any excuse to fight in a different country. I mean, this is awesome. And I've never done a rematch before. And I've never fought overseas. So it's a lot of cool new experiences. And I never turned out a fight. So why not fight again? I don't, you know, it'll be fun. <laughs> so is this, your, is this your first time to Japan? Too? Yes. Yeah, first time overseas, first time in Japan. Yeah. Crazy. So when you got the call, you had, did you have to go get a passport? Um, I had a passport because I never, like, I always wanted to be ready just okay. in case I did get an opportunity that was, like, fast. And, you know, so I was always, I always had my, my passport, but um, I had to get a visa and everything. So that took a lot, but it was fun. It's, it was a, it's already been a good experience. I'm just happy to be here. So That's amazing. Okay, let's talk about this actual fight. Um, it's like. The first fight it was pretty dominant. I think you got hit once or twice. Nothing, yeah, nothing significant. That nothing. I remember. Yeah, nothing, nothing significant. We're, we're significantly rocked. What do you expect in this rematch? I expect it'll come out just like she did last time. Maybe more conservative because she's afraid of my takedowns. Um, maybe she worked a lot more on takedowns. Probably, um, maybe not getting up her back, and uh, maybe she'll come out uh, even stronger and try to hit me more. I don't know. We'll see. I <laughs> no, it's gonna be. Now, now, this one, the last one was in a cage. It was under the unified rules. This one's a little different. It's in a ring, and it's under, um, quote, unquote, pride rules. Um, um, is this going to make a difference, or is this going to be an advantage for her, disadvantage? What do you think? I'm hoping it's an advantage for me. I'm excited because I, get, I could do a lot of things that I can't normally do. So, like, I can sock a kick to the face. Um, she's not used to elbows, but I'm used to elbows, and that we had that in our fight as well. And um, you can knee on the ground to the face. There's a lot of, you know, if I get a takedown and get on side control, you know, I can kneel on the face, which I don't normally able to do. So um, I'm going to try to take advantage of those rules because why not? I never get to do them. So we'll see. I think it's going to be advantage to me. And as far as takedowns, everybody's asked me about takes down, takedowns in the ring. And it's harder. I think it's going to be easy on a ring. So I'm not too worried about it. it for, 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 um, from a wrestling perspective, I, from, I guess, a technical wrestling perspective, is it easier in a ring versus the cage or harder, the wrestling takedowns and things like that? I mean, I've been practicing in a ring. I've never fought in a ring with takedowns, but I've been practicing and it seems easier to me. So we'll see. <laughs> Now, um, I got to say, I'm, I'm a bit surprised you're fighting Rena when uh, um, I think farther up on the card is uh, another young lady that's fighting um, Hamasaki, um, who's the 105, the Adam White champion. Is this something you are gunning for after your victory? I'm assuming you're going for it. Oh, yeah, I'm excited to watch that fight. I'm glad it's after mine and I can enjoy watching it and I really take it all in and I'm hoping that I can get the winner. And you're also, um, you're also coming off a win in Invicta FC. Are you still um, with Invicta or? Yeah. So. Yeah, I'm, I'm in contract with Invicta. I just want a belt. I'll get a belt there. I'll get a belt here. I don't care. I just want a belt this year. 2020 is going to be my year, man. Two belts for? Hey, why not? Right? Can we do that? Is that a thing? <laughs> be, it's the best thing. Right? Champ, champ, two different organizations? <laughs> no, I'll take it one at a time. I'm not being too crazy, but yeah. I just, I want to 
work my way up and uh, I want to be the best, so. Okay, and last thing before, because I know I'm taking, away, taking time away from your photo shoot. Um, you know, when you started out, you've already, you, you've already, you fought Madison Square Garden, and now you're about to inside Thomas Super Arena. Like, yeah. <laughs> when you first walked into that, walked into the gym to start training or whatever, did you, was this a goal? Did you see this ever happening? Oh yeah, it's always been a goal, and I've always wished and dreamed that it would happen. And here I am, so it's so crazy that I'm, yeah, going from Madison Square Garden this year to now I'm here, and it's. It's crazy. I'm still like in shock and this hotel is beautiful. <laughs> this is like the best hotel I've ever been in. Shout out to the Westin. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go Westin. <laughs> All right, thank you very much. Thank you.